What you're looking at is New World, but what's really interesting is what you see above me, which is all of the computer statistics that you would need to know about monitoring your system. CPU temps, GPU temps, wattage usage, as well as clock speeds, FPS, you can even see averages, everything like that, RAM, how much that's being, there's so much that you can do. But then you can also probably just enable the one with your graphics card, which I also have enabled up here in the corner, but it doesn't show everything like CPU temps. What program is this? It's actually Reva Statistics Tuner, and it comes with MSI Afterburner. And in my previous video where I talked about undervolting your card to be able to get some better performance and lower temperatures, lower wattage, a whole bunch of stuff, you should totally check that video out, by the way. I showed you this and mentioned I would make a tutorial if asked, and that was what happened. I was asked. So we're going to talk about how to set this up so that you can see all of your statistics, be able to adjust it, have full range, and uh, show what you do and what you don't want. Yeah. Let's get into this video. So there are a couple of programs you're going to need. One of them is MSI Afterburner, which you can get in a link down in the description. And I do have all of that information on how to be able to install it and get it looking like this uh, in that previous video. But just know that you can change your skins. And this is the MSI Afterburner Cyborg skin, I believe, just if you want it to look like what we're doing. And you also need Reva Tuner statistics. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong in the intro of the video. Roast me in the comments. Uh, but what we're gonna do is talk about how to set this up and have full customization. So number one, you wanna have make sure that both of them are open and you want to make sure that it's on so you can actually see the overlay. I've got it pretty oversized right now so that we can see it on the screen, but what we're going to do is just move these directly underneath so that I can zoom in on these. To get started, we're actually going to be in MSI Afterburner, and I'm going to go ahead and open settings and move this up so that we can kind of cover up a little bit, but you'll get the picture. We're going to go to the monitoring tab, which is the third tab, and here you're going to see every single thing that you can activate. GPU 1, GPU 2, if you have integrated or a couple GPUs, you can do individual CPU temperatures that are on each thread as well as the usage for each the clock speed for each you can even go down and show all of your ram usage how much is committed you can even do frame time graphs frame rate minimums averages maximums and you can do benchmark runs for one percent and 0.1 percent lows and you just basically click the box to enable it on the uh, overlay. So what we'll do is you can see here's this GPU one temp, which is up there in the top left. You can see it's 70 degrees Celsius right now. I can actually check the box right here that says show an on-screen display. If I uncheck that box and click apply, you'll see that that number disappears. If I click it and click apply, you'll see that that number will reappear. You can also change these two graphs. I'm gonna click apply and you'll see that it'll actually put it as a graph. Actually you can see now at the bottom, you see GPU temperature, there is a graph showing what it's been doing prior to this point. This could be really good for frame rate or if you're championing frame times, things like that. Really good way to have a graph on screen, especially if you're doing benchmarks or just curious how things are performing. I'm gonna put it back to text because I just like it really simple. And then if there's ever times that things aren't grouped correctly, like for example, you see GPU one, you have 71 degrees, 77 usage, etc. Everything's on that one line. That is down here at the very bottom, it says override group name. So right now you see GPU one temperature, right? And then you have GPU one usage. I could go ahead and do override group name and I could say 4080 usage because I have a RTX 4080. If I click apply, it's gonna put it on a brand new line and this is how you can start to spread some stuff out and get some really just dialed in, I don't know, benchmarking things. You can kind of go crazy here with what you're doing. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off and hit apply and put this up here. Um, I'm gonna turn off GPU two. That's actually my integrated graphics. Uh, and then that's basically how I've set it up. I've chosen each of the things that I want from CPU as well as my GPU. And here's another thing with this. Under monitoring, if you're wanting to not get like one specific core of your GPU or your CPU, just make sure you scroll past all the ones that are like CPU 25, 26, 27 temperature. There eventually will be one that's just CPU temperature, which is the one that will be kind of the overall package core. So you would click that one and choose that one. Same thing for usage. You scroll past all of the individual threads, click CPU usage, you can turn that on. And then same thing for CPU power and clock. Clock has every one of the threads. You have an overall clock that you can choose. CPU power, RAM usage, 
etc. You can just go ahead and turn those on. So the next step is actually looking at Riva Tuner Statistics, and this is where you get a bunch of other choices, things like frame rate limits that you can set up per game to be able to limit your frame rate and to be able to lock some things in. You can even do detection level for it to detect what it is based upon anti-cheat, or if it has any kind of specific hook that it needs, you can turn this up or down. Uh, you can even do uh, turning it on with start with windows, and you can change a lot of the other things. Like for example, you can make it smaller on the screen. You can change its location and put it into a different corner. And you can even put the fill behind it so it can be transparent or not. Whatever the case, you can put shadows. There's so much you can do to make this, you know, as easy or kind of difficult, you know, for you to see, whatever the case. There's also a uh, vector 3D where you can change it to a different view uh, for text. And you can also set up profiles based upon what game. Regarding frame rate limit, which is one of those things you might ask, you just go to add and then find the EXE of the game that you're currently playing. Like, for example, I'm going to find New World. So here I've already found the New World exe i'm going to click open and let's just say i want to set the frame rate to let's say 90. i'm going to go ahead and hit apply and inside of new world right now it's actually capped at uh, it's on vsync so let me actually turn off the max cap and you should see that it will stop at 90. so i'm going to uncap this and if my frames will go up it all depends on how everything's performing where i'm currently at i'm currently playing in 4k uh, in New World on max settings. So it's kind of weird that it might not actually go up to 90 just because of uh, the settings that I have here. Okay, I went ahead and teleported somewhere where I could actually max out the uh, the actual frames here. So what you can see is I'm at 90. And if I pull up Reva statistics, you can see if I type in like 120, we'll put that in, click back into New World, you can see now it's going to go back up. The last thing is to actually set up hotkeys so that you can turn this on and off easily. So in MSI Afterburner, go to settings and click on screen display, and you can change the toggle on screen display to whatever you want. Mine is control and the backslash or forward slash, whatever the case. And then once I go in game, if I toggle that, it'll turn on and off really easy for me to be able to just pull up stats when I need. Uh, and you know, I get everything, not just all the GPU information. Uh, I get everything, CPU, clocks, memory, yeah. Do me a favor, comment down below. Was this helpful on how to set up Reva Tuner for you to be able to monitor all of your system stuff while you're gaming or just as a quick pop-up? Or if you're a person who benchmarks and uses it, was this a good guy, bad guy, whatever the case? And is there anything else that you would like to see that I could create for you? Thanks guys. And make sure you check out this video where I actually undervolt your graphics card, basically any graphics card to get better performance, lower temperatures, lower wattage, just an all around better experience for your graphics card. You gotta check that out. Oh, and this one. I'm pretty sure you'll love this one as well. Thanks, guys. Hope you all have a great day.